one of six of the Willie and Lori collaboration. Together we are, get ready, Willory. We have never met in person, but we're definitely connected, perhaps some kind of quantum entanglement. We started with a three-part series that started to explain the mystery of the magic of 369. According to Tesla, these numbers contain quite a bit of magic and indeed the key to the universe. Don't worry, I'll explain. In our first series, there were three parts. They included details about quantum intelligence, quantum jumping, and lastly, Willie introduced the 10 quantum commandments with which I will begin this video. In this video, we will show you just why these numbers are so amazing, the 369. Are you ready? Ready. Type in the comments, I'm ready to see the magic of 369. Okay, here are the 10 quantum commandments as written by Willie. Number one, love yourself. Number two, don't lie to yourself. Trust yourself and say yes to yourself. Number three, forgive yourself. Embrace your past, let go and live in the now. Number four, perform continual shadow work. Continuously calm the waters of your mind. Number five is meditate daily and do yoga frequently. Listen to your body and to reconcile your mind, body, and spirit. Number six, practice fasting and abstinence periods. Dissolve desires, addictions, and survival instincts. Number seven is heal, keep, and grow connections with others. Number eight, never compare yourself to others. The only competition is yourself. Number nine, never stop learning. And number 10, live in love without worrying about survival. Being so strong that nothing can disturb your peace of mind. Okay, so to keep these commandments, it is very important that you pay close attention to your vibration. Remember, higher is better. If you use the Hawkins scale, you want to stay at the vibration of love and above. You want to be in a good vibration as this leads to desirable results. I mentioned earlier that 369 has a magical and mystical quality. Let me start with the reason that 369 is so special. It begins with a special kind of math called vortex math. Nikola Tesla showed that there is a pattern that is created with doubling of numbers. Let me show you. The same actually works with the pattern created with exponents of the number two as well. But here goes. One plus one equals two. Two plus two equals four. Four plus four equals eight. Eight plus eight equals 16. Then you collapse down the multiple digits down to a single digit. When you do this, you continue on and you get a pattern. The pattern looks like this. One, two, four, eight, seven, five, one, two, four, eight, seven, five, and so on forever. If you look at it visually, this is the shape or pattern that you'll get. Notice that three, six, and nine are left out of this pattern. It is said that this is what creates polarity. The number one, two, four, eight, seven, five represent the physical matter. On one side, three controls one, two, and four. On the other side, six controls eight, seven, and five, and nine, well, it controls everything. Nine is special. Nine is special as if you take three and six and do the same doubling, you get this. Three plus three is six, six plus six is 12, which collapses down to three. 12 plus 12 is 24, which collapses down to six. 24 plus 24 is 48, which equals three. And if you keep going, you get an oscillating pattern that goes between three, six, three, six, and so on. Nine has its own special qualities. Let me start with the nine times tables. 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 9 times 3 is 27, and so on. Each one collapses back to 9. But on the flip side, if you take 9 and add any number to it, it will collapse down to the number that you started with, the one that's not 9. In the math alone, it is demonstrated that 9 is both infinite and a complete vacuum. It's both everything and nothing at the same time. Hence, it is the epitome of duality or polarity. It's the universe itself. It's really amazing. Now going back to the shape that this number pattern makes, it's called a torus. It resembles the electromagnetic field created by the poles that exist around our Earth. It's quite amazing. The vortex itself created by this amazing pattern is a shape that can be seen in so many parts of nature, let alone the galaxy itself, the spiral. The vortex creates a spiral shape, which relates to both the golden ratio and the Fibonacci sequence. The 369 literally combines everything. This was the main ingredient in Tesla's idea for free energy for all. He was going to harness the vortex energy field that is created when you run a series of electrons through a large copper coil. Unfortunately, Tesla's ideas died with him in 1943 after his mysterious death. 
there are hints of this vortex shape all over the place as well. Symbols for Volkswagen, symbol for Honda, take a look. The Apple in Apple products, the infinity symbol, Mobius strip, even a chocolate fountain uses this vortex energy shape and pattern. It's really cool. This also relates back to the universal laws and in particular, the law of vibration. Everything is energy and hence everything is always in motion. This is particularly why it is so important to be aware of quantum ideas. This is why it is important to work on developing your quantum intelligence. If you don't use what you have learned and if you do not investigate the new reality of your awareness and awakening, you will not gain the full benefit of it. Your life can be and will be so magical. At the end of all this, what do you think? Are you mystified by the number 369? Can you see why it's so magical? Thank you so much for watching and Willie and I are sending tons and tons of love to all of you. We hope you have the most wonderful day. Please leave any comments you have and A, B, positive. Mwah. Nine times one is nine, nine times two is three. Thank you so much, Lori. I really appreciate the explanation of the 369. You did it. splendid. Uh, now I'm going to explain how the universe was formed. Is an answer. You decide what to believe. That is a fundamental question you may have, and we have an answer. So here it is. In the beginning, there was just a dot. And dot moved, creating a line. And the line started waving, creating a vibration, energy. And the vibration started interwinding with itself and waving and overlapping. And that overlapping, and that waving, overlapping itself, interwinding itself, became echo. And the echo became thoughts, and the thoughts became consciousness, and the consciousness said, this is ambiguous, this is just me in the middle of nothingness, this doesn't make sense, I need something more objective, less ambiguous, more meaningful, and the consciousness became intelligence, and the intelligence decided to create something more tangible, more physical, more real. Started creating time and space. Here's how the creation started. Time and space created. It's a logical pattern, product of intelligence product of consciousness. So the higher the consciousness, the greater the intelligence, the greater the intelligence, the greater the, the creation, the greater the vibration, the greater the intelligence, the greater the thoughts, the greater the intelligence. The whole universe is based on developing intelligence, developing creativity, developing realities. But in the end, it's all about developing intelligence. So the greater amount of thoughts, the greater the consciousness, the greater amount of thoughts, the higher the vibration as well. More thoughts, more vibration, more frequency. So, the 10 quantum commandments are intended to enhance the intelligence, the number of thoughts, the greater vibration, the greater your vibration and consequently your intelligence. So, the quantum commandments are intended to enhance your intelligence. And if you see the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, um, we can associate each one of those commandments to the concepts of the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So, this is a scientific process that we have developed is not something that just we came up with an idea now by scientific fundamental 
So as you may see here, and never stop learning, that's about creativity, problem solving, don't lie to yourself, it's a acceptance to the facts, perform continual shadow work as well. Um, forgive yourself, it's about self-esteem, love yourself, self-esteem, respect others, love others, connect, family, friendship, sexual intimacy, uh, meditate daily, that would be security of the body, doing yoga, um, making sure that you have the resources and the resources are in our mind. Stop surviving when we start leaving, we, we actually don't even think about breathing or food or water or sex or we just you know normally do it without worrying about that survival mode. We have to also practice so, some uh, periods of abstinence in, in order to differentiate what, what our body needs and what our emotional needs and what emotional needs are actually not necessary. So uh, there is another pyramid that we have developed is the spiritual pyramid that uh, that is scale can associate the needs of your mind, body and spirit. And the same for the Maslow hierarchy of needs. If you organize the ideas, those are organized by needs of the body, needs of the mind and needs of the spirit. So you can see here how the body needs breathing, water, food, sleep, excretion, spirit needs love, empathy, affiliation, rewarding, trust, affection, purpose, hope, believings, and the mind needs education, knowledge, understanding, challenges, and insights. So both pyramids are very similar. One is what does the Maslow here give needs and the spiritual pyramid is how. In later chapters, in later videos we can explain how how to develop quantum intelligence and greater happiness. And it's all related about the intelligence in the chakras as minds. We think about a chakra. A chakra is a mind similar to a computer. A computer has a hardware, software, and operating system. So a DNA is the operating system in, in, that was installed when we were born. And the neurons are the hardware the physical devices processing the data, the signals. And later we have the applications, things that we learn, those programs that are um, things that we learn over time, abilities, talent, or also bad practices. So uh, we, we have to be aware that not everything that we learn is good. And our DNA is also full of, of bugs or programs. Our DNA or things we learn might be full of programs and control systems from the matrix. We associate our spirit and mind are related to the information that is in our physical body and our physical body becomes a structure made of energy. So the seven chakras align and thinking as one of course is a greater intelligence than just the intelligence that we have in our head. We have the whole body collectively cooperating and that becomes our subconscious mind. Our subconscious mind can unblock those uh, programs and with unblocking those programs we become more intelligent because we will be able to connect all the chakras and connect to our higher being. And instead, instead of thinking that our subconscious mind is something separate from our consciousness, we will see that always as which will give you psychic and spiritual abilities. So the Ten Commandments will definitely drive your, your life to a better state. And it's not just philosophy, it's science. If you like our videos, please subscribe, enable the notification bell, and share it to your friends. They will love it.